All right, here we go. Question number 17 from our 0314 homework number three. In my lab math, we have a trinomial, and they asked me to factor. We're going to factor the trinomial. And so, again, if you didn't watch the last video, we're going to go through a couple of things. First of all, this is a trinomial because there are three terms. And since the lead coefficient is 1, that makes this a standard trinomial, which means it's super easy, okay? So you need the recipe for factoring a trinomial, and the recipe has three ingredients. First ingredient, parentheses. Second ingredient, we need to read the signs. And the third ingredient, we're going to fill in the blanks. Okay, so first ingredient, you're going to start with two sets of parentheses, and then you're going to need to read the signs. So the way that you read the signs is you look at the last sign first. If this is minus, then these are going to be different, okay? Minus at the back makes these different. If you watch the previous video, this sign here was a plus, which meant we had to look at the first sign to see what these were. But when this last sign is minus, you don't really care what the first sign is because minus makes these different. OK, and then for the third step, we're going to fill in the blanks. So what does it take to make V squared? Well, it takes V times V to make V squared. And then for the other two blanks, I need numbers that multiply to make 16, that subtract and make 6. And so we're going to come over here to the side and we're going to make a search for those numbers, okay? So we need numbers that multiply to make 16. I know 16 times 1 is 16, but these numbers have to subtract to make 6. 16 minus 1 is not 6, and so I'm going to keep looking. I know that 2 times 8 is 16. Is 8 minus 2 6? Yeah, it is. And so th that means I found my numbers here, okay? Now, when the signs are different, it matters where you put these two numbers. So I have to come up with a plus 6, which means I want 8 minus 2. And so that's how you tell where to put these. It's based on this term right here, okay? And we're done. That is now factored completely. Let's check it. V plus 8 and V minus 2. And there you go. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.